Say that again. What are you back to me seeing kind of unidirectional? So for me, contraction and expansion is always going to enable me to relate more clearly with that model. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the in-force you could call as a, it's, you could say it's a contraction. But in health, it's a contraction without tightness. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, I it's a movement, um, it's a movement towards the interior. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not necessarily a negative thing. I know it can have that connotation. Right. So it's a drawing in. Yeah. Gathering. Exactly. Um, it, if, if I was in a context where I was speaking to people that didn't know spiral dynamics, yeah, I would begin to talk about that more. It, that, that's where it gets um, into more depth of looking at, okay, the base chakra is the same as the, is the beige mean. The water chakra is the same as the purple mean, etc. cetera. Yeah. No, that no, that's an that's an uh, at a level that I think I can understand without going too deep into it. Exactly. And that's one of the things that starts to become really fascinating because we um, we learn about these different stages of development that are called memes. Um, we learn about these different stages of consciousness, and then we begin to see where they live in the body, and we see that. Human beings have been around with the walking around with this body eons prior to the development of the current spiral dynamics model. Oh, yeah. And the beauty of it is, is we start to realize, well, wow, this is the green meme. And when we begin to understand egalitarian consciousness and, you know, 1968 and the we are all one and we are all equal, and then we begin to look into the sense of responsibility and the sense of what comes out of having a heart. Mm. We see this is incredible. And then we start looking at the orange meme, which is right here. And we start to see, wow, this is incredible. We've got this gigantic diaphragm, which is sitting right in between this lower portion of our being and this upper portion of our being. And we understand that this orange meme or this, post -mo uh, this modernist consciousness we could look at, uh, at the, as a, in the example of a CEO who is all about more, better, the best. I'm gonna strive to be the best. I'm gonna make goals. I'm gonna meet my goals. I'm gonna be the top 2% of the, the money makers in this world. But what we see is that right here is like the top floor of the building. Right here is the top floor where the CEO is sitting in his chair and he's, he's made it. But then he gets lonely and he realizes, wait a minute, I have everything, but I thought that was going to be enough. Hmm. And then all of a sudden, he starts asking questions like, who am I? What am I doing here? Maybe I thought that all this money was the point, but maybe the point is family and loving each other. And what's actually happening is a process of beginning to move through the diaphragm into the level of the heart. And this is when it begins to get really interesting. When we begin to look at, for example, the yellow mean, which has everything to do with the throat, our capacity for self-reflection, our capacity to be able to separate ourselves in such a way that we be can begin to see all the different systems that are in place. This is what yellow, the yellow mean starts to do. It starts to say, well, hmm, wow, look, there's this system, and then there's this system, and there's this system, and there's all these systems, and it begins to try to integrate all of this. This has everything to do with the neck. This can only happen with self-reflection. Our ability to say, hmm, wait a minute, there's all these other stages of development that actually all have values and virtues and are part of one larger system. It takes self-reflection, and it takes... Being in a state where we've transcended fear, which is also associated with the yellow mean, that this first, what's called the first tier, they're all fighting for a worldview. And they're all fighting for their own worldview, world view, and they're doing it in such a way as if it was for their very survival. Because now it's survival of a worldview rather than 
my survival of my physical being. I'm going to fight for this worldview as if, if that wasn't the way the world was, it would ex be experienced in me as a death process. And so with yellow, with this capacity for self-reflection, with the, the ability to begin being objective and seeing that there's an object over there that I'm aware of, I can begin to see all of these parts. And I can begin to see that, oh, wait a minute, all of these parts have values. All of these parts have virtues. All of these parts are part of a much larger system. So anyway, that's where it gets exciting.